Aloha, it's Chef Keone from Foodland. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to make chapche, a rich, flavorful, and popular dish that is often served as panchan or a side dish in Korean cuisine. It's super easy to make and perfect for any get together. Let's go ahead and let's get started. To make this recipe, let's talk about the ingredients you'll need. Traditionally, chapche is made with a specific Korean noodle that is sweet potato based. In this recipe though, I wanna be using mung bean noodles that we all kind of are used to seeing, which are sort of the uh, long rice noodles. One thing to note, when you're gonna get the mung bean noodles in the store, look for the thicker ones because the thinner ones that we use for long rice might be too much. You'll also need one tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of shoyu or soy sauce, two tablespoons of toasted sesame oil, two tablespoons of vegetable oil or any kind of neutral flavored oil, one medium onion that's sliced thinly, one medium carrot, which I sliced into thin matchsticks or julienne, two large dried shiitake mushrooms, which I soaked in warm water for about two to three hours and then cut into thin strips and took the stem off. Two garlic cloves. Here we're using the Maikai peeled garlic cloves, which are a super awesome time saver. Half of a red bell pepper that I cut into strips. Three green onion stalks that I cut into two inch long pieces. One quarter pound of spinach, which I blanched and rough chopped. To blanch the spinach, take a pot of boiling water and quickly submerge it. Then drain it and squeeze out the excess liquid. Go ahead and rough chop it and you're set to go. A quarter pound of cooked bulgogi. You can also use teriyaki or even deboned kalbi. One large egg that I quickly mixed, fried, and then cut into strips. Sesame seeds and black pepper. First, we're gonna cook the noodles by submerging them in a large pot of boiling water. Carefully place the noodles in the boiling water, cover the pot, and cook it for a minute. Now I'm gonna stir it a little bit just to make sure they don't stick together, and then I'm gonna cover the pot again and cook it for about five minutes until the noodles are soft and chewy. Next, I'm gonna strain out the cooked noodles and cut them a few times with kitchen scissors so they're not too long, and then I'll place them in a large mixing bowl. Here, I'm adding in the toasted sesame oil, shoyu, and sugar. You can mix this by hand or with a wooden spoon. Be sure to taste it and adjust seasoning as needed. I'm heating up my skillet over medium-high heat and adding two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Next, we'll add our sliced onions and cook them for a minute. Then I'll add in the carrots, the mushrooms, and cook them for an additional minute. Here I'm adding in the rehydrated shiitake mushrooms. Now, you could use enoki, you could use oyster, you know, you could even use the hamakua mushrooms, which is an, the ali'i mushroom, which is a local mushroom that they grow here in Hawaii. And you can get all of these ingredients at your neighborhood foodland store. Next, we'll add in the chopped garlic, sliced red bell pepper, green onion, and a pinch of salt. We'll stir fry this for about a couple minutes until the onions look nice and translucent. Before I start bringing all the ingredients together, I didn't want to mention, if you're looking for more recipes or interested in learning how to cook more of my favorite local style recipes, visit us at foodland.com. To finish with the chapche, I'm going to transfer the sauteed vegetables to our bowl with the cooked noodles. Next, I'm going to add in the spinach, and if you have watercress at home or even choy sum, that'd be a great substitute too. Now we'll add in a couple of the strips of egg, the sliced bulgogi, sesame seeds, and we'll mix it all together. Now you can adjust the seasoning by adding a little bit more shoyu, sugar, or sesame oil, and do this to preference, and a little bit of salt and pepper. Once you're happy with all of the flavors coming together, go ahead and transfer it to a nice serving platter. So here we have our chop che, really delicious. I mean, if you could be here with me, it would just the smell is amazing. All the shoyu, the sesame, the garlic, and all the vegetables coming together. And the great thing about this dish is you can make it ahead of time. Put it in the fridge, and then when you're ready to serve it, take it out, put it in the microwave just for a few minutes to kind of warm it lightly, and you're good to go. If you have any questions about this recipe or cooking in general, send us an email at chefs at foodland.com. You can find these ingredients to make this dish at your neighborhood Foodland, and to get this recipe, visit us at foodland.com.